epilepsy warning for flashing lights and colors. Hey everyone, it's Peter from Theme Park Crazy, and I am so close to getting over this cold, but now that it's June, and now that it's the in-season, I want to make as much content as I can. And to be honest, I feel a lot better today than I did yesterday. You can listen to that failed audio attempt on my Patreon. By the way, special shout out to my newest Hyper Plus tier members on Patreon, Jeff Bonch, Scott, David Vaught, and Sydney the Third. If you want to support me on Patreon, I've put a link in the description. But for this video, like the one I attempted yesterday, I want to talk about a subject that's been on my mind lately. A few years ago, I made a video about the strangest roller coasters around the world, one of many, but this one was released in 2019. In this video, I talked about a ride called Los Simpson at Holiday World in the Canary Islands. I said this coaster had copyright infringement written all over it, and that was because it was covered in images of Disney characters, the train had a bunch of random cartoon characters, and there were Simpsons images on the ride's facade. And ever since that video first came out, I've had a lot of people from Spain tell me that this ride is nothing out of the ordinary in the country. Now, the Canary Islands are an autonomous community and belong to Spain. But in mainland Spain, and in all of Spain actually, there are a lot of these ferias, which is Spanish for fairs, that have rides just like this. And so out of curiosity, I decided to dig deeper into the Fidias to see what exactly, what kind of rides they were talking about. And what I found were some of the most unhinged and yet awesome fairground videos I've ever seen. Now, to give you some background, a feria is typically held in a Spanish city. Many cities have their own ferias, and they're considered to be major events, so much so that kids get off from school and adults get off from work a lot of times when a feria is being held. Now, these ferias are a lot like carnivals in the United States but the attractions are certainly different. Of course, you have some of the typical rides that you'd see in other European fairs, but Fidias have their own standout attractions that you only really see in Spain, as far as I know. Now, for those of you who live in Spain, you're probably going to watch this video and say, why is this weird? We see these all the time at our fairs. Well, consider this to be a reaction video of sorts from an American perspective, like witness my culture shock. Also, my godfather's wife is actually from Spain, so I'm sure she would enjoy watching this too. Hi, Maria. Anyway, to start off, I'm going to talk about the less, whoa, that's weird rides and more of the, huh, that's kind of cool stuff. Now, some of the rides that I only really see at Spanish fairs, as far as I've researched, are things like rides that I've talked about before. You've got the Tropical Dance, which is this spinning, like, cylinder that spins around and also each end flips. And this ride is pretty much known for its near-miss moments, like, people's heads come pretty close to the machinery on this. Definitely looks like a crazy ride. Then you have La Carcel, which is actually like a magic carpet ride, but you're standing up in cages with no restraints, so you get a lot of airtime. And this is like the no restraint kind of airtime, probably more airtime than you get on Phoenix at Knobles, which is saying something. But there's also another unique ride that I haven't discussed before, and it's called Mystery Hotel. This is literally a carnival version of Disney's Tower of Terror ride. Basically, you get in this mock hotel elevator and there's a screen in front of you, or there are some of these rides that have VR. You're lifted up, you get a view of the fairgrounds, and then you're dropped. But honestly, it's kind of surreal seeing a ride this close to the Disney version at a carnival. And of course, you also have the world-famous Tagata, which is legal in Spain. Now, you can find these in other European countries, and they're really only banned in America and Australia, and I think the UK has started to regulate them a bit. But the videos I found from Spain are just bonkers. Everyone is out of their seat, just stumbling around, and you would not see this in the United States at all. This just looks crazy. Back to rides that are more exclusive to the Spanish fairs, there's La Montañita, 
which is like some kind of spiral tram ride that's in a really compact space. I swear I've seen this in a dream before. It's like a kiddie ride, and there's up to 10 cars per train. This train has a bunch of animal prints on it, but this other train has a different character representing each car. Now the cars are, from first to last, Minions, Dora the Explorer, Captain America, Jasmine from Aladdin, Paw Patrol, Spongebob, Mickey Mouse, Batman, although there's a Spider-Man-like design in the front so it's like they couldn't decide between Batman and Spider-Man, and a Looney Tunes car. Now this is a common theme. You're going to be seeing a lot of IPs, like random IPs, scattered throughout these Fidia attractions. And I'm not sure how these showmen are able to get permission from all these different companies to use their characters. My guess is that Disney and these other companies don't bother going after these Fidias. Because, I mean, these are just local fairs. I mean, what are they losing from them? If anything, the kids are going to look at them and think, Oh, I want to watch Spongebob after writing this. Of course, these are big companies we're talking about, so I really have no idea. Now, on that subject, we have a roller coaster, a powered coaster, called Disney World. Yes, this coaster is indeed called Disney World. The facade is just covered in Disney decor with Peter Pan, Snow White, and others. You also have foam bubbles being sprayed at the passengers, which is supposed to resemble snow, I think, and a big dragon statue in the middle. And I'm not sure why, but a lot of the passengers in this video are holding, like, inflatable bats with Marshall from Paw Patrol on them. There's also someone dressed as Mickey Mouse riding up front. This site is just bonkers, but there will be others like it in this video. Next, we're gonna tone things down just a little bit with a Spongebob Kitty Log Flume. This is called Troncos Flotanes, which means floating logs, and the facade has hand-painted versions of Spongebob and Sandy, but the middle of the ride has sculptures. You've got one of Spongebob where his eyes are bulging out for some reason. You've got a polar bear. And then you've got one of Patrick where it looks like he's made from acne-ridden human flesh. On top of that, you've also got light-up signs of Simpsons characters. You've got Bart, Lisa, Homer. What exactly do these characters have to do with Spongebob? And why is Spain so obsessed with the Simpsons when it comes to Feria attractions? I mean, don't get me wrong, the Simpsons are iconic all over the world, but why specifically Feria attractions? Well, the hits keep coming because there's another ride themed to the Simpsons, and this one is probably more bizarre than Los Simpson at Holiday World. This ride is called Los Simpson Maquineros, which apparently means the Machinist Simpsons according to Google Translate, but feel free to correct me down below. Now this is a family ride that has multiple clones of Homer circling around the center axis, each one having a colorful outfit, and each one has an electric guitar for some reason. And on top of that, look at this statue of Bart in the middle. I'm sorry, but this looks terrible. The outfit is off, the figure is off, the, the eyes are once again bulging out of his head, and why is he wearing a shirt with himself on it? Something else you'll notice about this ride is a common phrase that says Los Papas Gratis, which means Dad's Free. So I'm guessing Dad's Ride for Free. I don't know, this ride is just... I'm shocked that this hasn't become a meme because it really deserves it. And it's not the only thing I wish became a meme. A lot of Fidias are also home to spinning rides with a large statue of a copyrighted character in the middle. This one has Alvin from Alvin and the Chipmunks, this one is Spongebob from Spongebob Squarepants, but nothing can prepare you for the Super Goofy. Yes, this ride is named the Super Goofy. Yeah, it's just a typical spinning ride that bounces you up and down like Kennywood's Kangaroo, but I mean, how could you ignore a ride called the Super Goofy with a giant statue of Goofy in the middle? Yeah, Goofy already has rides like Goofy Sky School, A California Adventure, and The Barnstormer at the Magic Kingdom, but f*** those, this is the Super Goofy. Not just the Super Goofy, but El Nuevo Super Goofy, the new Super Goofy. I dare say that this is a bucket list attraction for me. Another Disney-themed oddity is this ride based on Aladdin, although it's not just based on Aladdin. 
Sure, you've got gondolas with the genie on them, but you also have gondolas that are miscolored versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And you could tell they're the Ninja Turtles by the masks they're wearing. This is already strange, but there's another Ninja Turtles themed ride and it is just... beyond bonkers. This right here is a powered coaster called Super Tortugas. Tortugas meaning turtles in Spanish. Just look at the designs of these cars. These are like what you'd see out of the Coming Out of Our Shells tour, remember that? I mean, at least it's lore accurate with Splinter in the front. But this isn't even the oddest thing. The oddest thing is the operator holding these unfortunately shaped balloons and smacking the riders with them as they fly by. He also sprays them with water or air, I don't know. I mean, this is some interesting interaction, like during the ride. It makes the ride kind of like a party. Just the sight of it is just so bizarre to me because you don't see this kind of thing here. And again, viewers in Spain, you're probably like, well, I see this all the time here. Again, this is just culture shock for me. Now, there are these inflatables. Good lord, just look at some of these. What is with the giant open mouths with teeth? Are these inflatables or the kind of puppets you'd see at a dentist's office? At some point, somebody had to have thought, well, this kind of looks disturbing on this character. Also, why does Mirabelle have a giant open mouth like that? Je that just looks inappropriate. So far, I've covered a lot of strangeness, uh, so to speak. But this last ride, it takes the cake for me in terms of sheer unhingedness. Introducing Tren de la Bruja, or Witch Train in English. As with many other rides, you have a very well-decorated facade with tons of Disney characters. Some of them don't have Disney characters, but they all have two fair workers dressed in costumes hitting the guests as they drive by. Not just that, but they will actually climb onto the ride vehicle and pose. Yes, climb on board while the vehicle is in motion, just get on and off freely. Now, to be fair, everyone looks like they're just having a blast on this ride. Everyone is having fun, and honestly, I'm kind of jealous. This kiddie ride looks more fun than a lot of roller coasters I've been on. You've got the music blasting, guys in witch costumes, guys in Mickey Mouse costumes, all the passengers have balloons, everyone's hitting each other with balloons. It's just chaos, and I love it. And that's the bottom line. Honestly, Spain is already up there in terms of places I want to go to. It already has beautiful sights, wonderful cuisine, and on top of all of that, I want to go to a feria one day. As unhinged as some of these videos are, they would be so much better to experience in person. So if you've been to a feria, feel free to comment down below what I can expect. But for now, this is Peter from Theme Park Crazy, and I'm gonna make some more green tea. Oh, and one more thing, special thanks to Funfair Worldwide for allowing me to use his footage. He's got some great stuff on his channel, so go check it out in the description.